when we take these leads and there's nothing going on, suppose the batter does not hit the ball and the catcher's sitting down there with it. This runner has to be in a position to do what needs to be done. Can she get back? Can she go forward? A rule of thumb, when she takes her lead off this base, she's going to be a step and a dive away. Okay, now I want Audra to just lie down right where she is on your belly and stretch out. So, you see that her back foot was here and she, that would be a dive for her. She didn't have her step. Okay, so that's a good indicator for your athletes. If they don't know what a step and a dive away is, have them lie down and feel for it. Now she's going to dust off and start right back where she was and take a step to her right. Now, she can look visually and see, oh, this is what it looks like. Now I know how far it is to be a step and a dive away. Now that she knows what that looks like, Audra's going to take a step and a dive away and look at it again. Now she knows. She's getting that visual look. Okay, thank you very much. Now what I want to talk about is the dive portion. She starts off on the outside of the base so that she's away from any play that may come from a first baseman. So when she takes her lead and she needs to come back, she's going to make sure that her body is as far away as possible and that her hand comes back at the far edge of this base. So she's going to come back with her right hand and her body as far away as she can. That makes sense. If you have a first baseman who's coming back for a tag play, we want her to have to try to chase you outside of the line and make it more difficult for her. Now we're going to put that all together. She's going to take a good, strong, hard lead off and bring it back in a, mm, a dive. She's going to dive back away from the play. Good, good. I want to point out Sarah's hand positioning. You want to be very careful. Step off, Sarah, for me, and come in with your hand, with your left hand down and your right hand reaching. You will have your athletes with their left hand down and their right hand reaching, and you're setting yourself up for injury in the wrist area of that left hand because it's taking all the forces. Let Sarah show you that again. She's going to come back, and this is what you'll see out of your athletes. You'll see a left hand down, reach with the right hand, so that most of that force is coming on the left hand. What Sarah demonstrated the first time with those hands completely straight out is the proper execution for that dive back. Sarah, you want to try another one? She's got to stay low and come back low. Good, hands out. Another key is keeping your center of gravity down. Nadia comes off, stays low, control, hands are out. Good job. She goes, stays low, keep your hands out. Good girl. And here comes Jen, she's going to do another perfect one to the outside of the base. There you go, perfect. Stays low, comes to the outside, good job.